Hello and welcome back. Last lesson was about articles. Today we're gonna watch together um, the basic compositions of um, verbs in uh, French, in the present form, and the verb be and have. So, let me start by um, telling you that French is a lot about, about learning some things by heart. And these are the endings of um, verbs of the first group in the present form. I will explain in a minute. So, French comes in three groups, French verbs. There is the first group, which are the verbs that finish in ER. Parler, manger, jeter, chanter. Okay? There is the second group, which are verbs that finish by ER. Finir, uh, réagir, Many, many. We will see them. And then, there's the third group, which is all the odd ones, which is all the misfits and all the ones that look like the first group, look like the second group, but they're not. Um, and I will show you how to uh, differentiate them and how to pick them up. The bad news is that the ones from the third group you have to learn by heart. There is no other way. But still, there are groups within the group. So you don't have to learn thousands of them. Just enough. But now we're going to do this, the first group. The verbs that finish with ER at the end. So, for example, if you have the verb manger, and you want to um, say... We eat. So it's I eat. This is an N, by the way. I know. I know. I know. I know. I write like a pig. Il mange. It's also L. And what did we say? We eat. No. Now here, if we put, remember the first lesson? If we put O here, do you remember what the sounds make? Yes, correct. That makes go. So we insert a O and E here, sorry. Same down here. Vous mangez. And last but not least, il mange. So you see, we took all these endings, took that out, and replaced the endings and it's just as technical and as easy as that let's try another one shall we uh, I'm gonna need to make some space so let's see the verb um, parler so je this is the verb parler. So what do we do? We take that off. And we write je parle tu parle. See, it sounds the same. Il parle nous Parlons. 
vous parler. Il parle. And that's all there is to it. This is the first group. Any verb that ends with ER and is not part of the third group finishes this way. Um, one important thing, which is very, very, very important to know, the second person of the singular, tu, always ends with an S at the end. Always. And that's in every form, every uh, time, every verb possible of any group. This is a rule you must um, learn very well. It will help you in the future. So now, <coughs> excuse me, let's, um, let's make some verbs together, okay? Uh, let's make, for example, um, we saw the verb, the verb parler, which means speak. We saw the verb manger, which means eat. Let's see the verb chanter. Marcher, travailler, poser, um, what else can we use in everyday, in our everyday language, um, that will help you out. Oof, all the examples I get in my head are uh, from uh, the third group. Um, montrer. Placer. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, cuisiner. Laver. Lever. These are good ones. So this means sing. This means walk. This means work. This means not posing, but <coughs> place. Put something. Put place. This means show. This means, again, place. This means um, not exactly cooking, but um, because we have boiling and frying, and this is, m yeah, more of a general, um, yeah, I think cooking will do for the moment. Um, laver means wash. And please pay attention to this when we want to say that we wash ourselves. And in general, in French, when we want to say that we do something to ourselves, like we sit um, or we wash our hair or we, we um, get dressed, and it's an action that is towards ourselves, there is always se in front. Se laver. We will see it later on. It's not for the moment. This is laver, this is lever. Laver, lever. And lever means rise, rise, stand. And of course, when we're talking about ourselves, is se lever. Okay? So, I would like you to take a piece of paper now and actually um, do all these verbs in uh, several, several um not in several, several, several times, because next time there will be a small test just for you to uh, see what you remember. And um, I will end this lesson with two verbs from the third group that are so important. And that is the verb être, which means be. And it goes like this. Je suis. Tu es. 
il è. Remember? We see this a lot. Nous sommes vous êtes. I have to apologize. I forget to put accents many, many times. And sometimes I do confuse my f- confuse my French with my English when it comes to S's and, and Z's and all that. But uh, it's not important at this time. What's important is for you to um, understand the mechanics of French. Okay, that didn't go very well. Um, ils sont. Now, this is extremely important. This sound is ils sont. You must never, never confuse it with ils ont. There is an absence of S here, so it makes a liaison and it makes a Z. And it's very important because this here means they are and this means they have. So I know it can be a real drag, but make the difference now. And here we go. Avoir. Have. J'ai. And it's the same sound as this. Okay? It's not E. It's J'ai. Il est J'ai. It sounds the same. It's not written the same. It doesn't mean the same. Tu a, and we don't forget the s that is always present when we have tu. Il a. Nous avons. Again, here there's an absence of s, so it becomes a z. Nous avons. Vous avez. And ils ont. Now, these are the most important verbs like in any language, and you will need to learn them by heart. But these are the tools that will allow you to create sentences, like little Lego blocks that you put one on top of the other or one next to the other. And soon enough, you will be able to juggle all these words and all these verbs and create little sentences. And once you do that, you will be able to have a basic communication you will be able to speak French you will be able to understand French and to be understood in French and that is the beginning of your um, education in French which by then will only be the addition of vocabulary and maybe a few rules along the way so that you can talk in the past or talk in the present but this will come with your own personal need For the moment, what you need is to be able to create little sentences. And this is a huge building block. Please, do your exercises, learn this, and join me in the next lesson where we're going to test what you know. Thanks for watching.